There's another story I really want to get your response on. It's a story that the nine newspapers and Channel 9 have been running strongly and I want to get your views as a veteran because it's, uh, it relates to the death of four Army airmen in a Taipan chopper crash off Queensland last year. An inquiry has heard from a former test pilot who warned that the new Army um, navigation aids on their helmets were not safe. Have a look. I knew with certainty this accident was going to happen. Major Ian Wilson risked his military career to warn of the lethal threat posed by a high-tech helmet used by pilots. Only to have his worst fears realised in July last year, when an Army Taipan helicopter smashed into the sea, killing four airmen. It was not airworthy for use in that full operating environment. This video, obtained by Nine News and taken just minutes before the military disaster, shows the poor weather at the time. The ill-fated Taipan had been turning in close formation with three other choppers off Hamilton Island, at low altitude, in low light and with no visible horizon. Precisely the conditions Major Wilson warned made reliance on the Top Owl helmet extremely dangerous. It implied a very high risk of death. Yes, yeah, so worrying, Keith. Uh, four lives lost and warnings there apparently ignored by defence. What needs to happen from here? Well, the first thing that needs to happen is that inquiry needs to be allowed to continue its work to test the evidence and then to give a full and frank report. Then government should read it properly and recognise that defence has this tension built within it. It has a very strict hierarchy where if you disobey a lawful order, you can get thrown in jail. But when it comes to safety, if someone knows something that is important, it should be listened to and it should be actioned. So I hope that that's interrogated in this inquiry and I hope that defence listens at the end of it. Because, Chris, four lives were lost, but there could have been many more. That helicopter had just dropped off 16 commandos as well. We could have had 20 lives lost. So this should be taken very seriously. It should indeed. Thanks so much for joining us, Keith. I appreciate it. Keith Wallahan there, Liberal MP, joining us from Melbourne.